What's going on, YouTube community? It's your boy YMG on Blog TV, coming straight out of Cincinnati, Ohio. In this video, I'm just going to talk about. Well, I'm not going to talk. About, I'm just going to give you who I think, tell you who I think will win these Christmas Day NBA matchup games and what the scores are going to be. Now, I made a video talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers and Warriors game, so that's I'm already y'all. You're going to see that more than likely. You know, hopefully you guys looked at that. But uh, I'm going to talk about this first game: the New Orleans Pelicans versus the Miami Heat. Um, I'm going to roll with the Miami Heat. This should be a this should be a good matchup, but uh, the Pelicans they just have not been playing well at all. Anthony Davis has been doing his thing. Give him his props. But other than that, I mean, they really are not that good. I mean, they have their moments. And the Miami Heat, you know, they have Dwayne Wade still, Hassan Whitehead. They have some players on that team. Uh, some guys that can play defense, can score. You got Chris Bosh. You know, I just feel like you know they're. They're, they're. I just feel like they're going to win this game. I think it'll be a close game, probably in the nineties, like ninety six, maybe ninety. Um, I, I think D Wade, if he plays, I'm pretty sure he should play. Um, I think he's going to score. But he's going to have a good game. Uh, but it should be competitive. But I'm going to rope the Miami Heat in this game. Next, Chicago Bulls versus the OKC. Um, Thunder's been looking pretty good. KD. Of course, been playing well. Westbrook, of course, been playing well. Ibaka's been playing well. Those guys have been playing well. Um, they just been coming off of victories. Of course, they lost to the Cleveland Cavaliers, but um, they have a you know they have a good record right now. They playing good basketball. They're what twenty and nine, I believe. And the Chicago Bulls, if I'm not mistaken, um, I believe they just lost like three three fucking games in a row. So. They have a lot to to, to, to to play for in this game. Of course, the Oklahoma City Thunder has a lot to play for in this game. It's going to be some good matchups. You know, you have uh, Kevin Durant. You have uh, Russell Westbrook. You have Derrick Rose. You have uh, Butler, Pau Gasol, Ibaka. So, this Joe King Noah. You know, this should be a this, – this, this can possibly be a – I'm not going to say shootout. But it could possibly get up to the get get to a shootout, but you know how the Chicago Bulls are. Sometimes they lack in scoring, but you know Butler has provided so much of a presence as far as continuing to get buckets. You know, keep the offense flowing. I'm going to roll, but at the end of the day, I'm going to roll with the Oklahoma City Thunder man. I think it's just going to be too much Westbrook, too much KD, and that's pretty much it right there. Those two guys are long, and then. The, the, the bigs that they have and the bench contributions, I think it's going to be too much for the Chicago Bulls. But it should be an interesting game. Then, of course, I got the Warriors. I got the Warriors win. I'm just going to tell you guys that. Then we have the San Antonio Spurs versus the Houston Rockets. Well, I'm going to just put it like this. This is a no-fucking-brainer. The Spurs are going to win this game. This, this, this probably be an easy fucking win because the Rockets are just they're, they're just terrible. 15 and 15. I did not think coming into the season they will be 15 and 15. Like, seriously. This is a team who sort of battled with the Golden State Warriors in the playoffs, the Western Conference playoffs. It's now been a 15 and 15 team, and the Spurs are just like, I swear these guys just don't get old, man. Popovich is a mastermind, and then Kawhi Leonard. What else can you say about Kawhi Leonard? This dude' defense is is great. His offense is just gets better and better. He does so much for this team. It's just crazy. This dude is literally becoming a superstar. If he's not, he's becoming a quiet superstar. Um, you have Tim Duncan. You have Aldridge, who's finally came you know came around. Um, Tony Parker. All those other guys, the veterans. This this should be an easy victory. I mean, they're twenty five and five right now. The Houston Rockets, James Harden. Of course, they have James Harden who can ball out at any moment, give buckets. But then you have Dwight Howard, who's really hasn't been getting a lot of touches. If you really look at the games, and you know he's not been able to do as much, you know, as he should be able to. So this should be an easy win for the San Antonio Spurs. I actually wish that they was in San Antonio instead of Houston, but hey, it is what it is. Um, Spurs should probably win. 180 something. I'm just you know. Um, next, moving on to the Clippers and the Lakers. Um, what can I say about the Clippers and the Lakers? Uh, this game, I, I'm honestly, I really don't know who will probably win this game because it's a the Clippers are like playing terrible. They're not playing great basketball. 
Um, hopefully they can turn around. And obviously the Lakers are just horrible. But, you know, this is a battle in L.A., so it should be an exciting game. Bright lights. All the celebrities are going to be out to this game, whether they're Clippers fans or Lakers fans. Um, Chris Paul, Kobe Bryant, DeAndre Jordan, Blake Griffin, the young guys on the Lakers. <coughs> Excuse me. This should be a this should be an interesting game, but I honestly feel like the Clippers might blow the Lakers out because the Lakers done had a lot of games where they they have get gotten blown out. You know, of course I want to see the the Lakers win and, and Kobe Bryant put on the show. Not yet, and uh, Kobe Bryant put on the show. Um, that was I was talking to my, my uh, mother. <laughs> um, Kobe Bryant put on the show, which I think he will try to try to go out there and put on the show for his fans. But I just think the Clippers, at the end of the day, it's going to be too much Blake Griffin, too much DeAndre Jordan, Chris Paul, and those guys. I think they have a chip on their shoulder, you know, and I think the Clippers are going to win probably um, probably 95 to 82. I don't think it would be a high-scoring game. I could be wrong, but, hey, if it is, hey, but I think the Lakers are going to lose this game. So, guys, there you have it. Um, I have my picks, who I think will win these Christmas Day games. You guys tell me who do you think will win. Comment, subscribe, favorite, like, share. Check out my previous videos. Hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and all those social media sites. I'm out. Deuces. Oh, and by the way, guys, when I do this, deuces, it's not a gang sign. I'm just throwing up my neighborhood. been doing it for years. Avondale, A1. It's like this. <laughs>